ChatGPT keeps doing all the right things. And whilst it's daunting to keep up with AI and the rapid rate of its development, it is vital to know when breakthroughs happen because you never know, it can change your world. In this video, I'll be showcasing three practical examples of the new ChatGPT features. And those features are image analysis, voice conversation, and the return of real-time browsing. And if you want to see more content like this, or if I've helped you out at all, tap the like button found under the video. We'll start Start off with the image analysis. Inside your ChatGPT account, head over to GPT-4. If you can't access GPT-4, it means you're not a Plus member, so you'll need to upgrade your account. You'll now have these options. Make sure the Advanced Data Analysis option has been selected. Once you've selected that, you'll see a little plus icon or attach file icon right next to the input field. We're going to upload this picture, which is just me sitting in my office. Click the icon button and select the image you want to upload. You can do all sorts with this, but we're going to keep everything simple and a little bit more practical. I'm going to tell ChatGPT to make this picture black and white. In the background, ChatGPT is using code to convert the image and do what it is we asked for. We don't need to understand any of this, just know it's doing some stuff in the background. What's cool here is it's done exactly what we asked it to do. You can see the original and now the new edited. We can click this button and download the file. And here's the complete file. I now want to add this picture to the wall behind me. So we'll upload that picture, add this artwork to the wall behind the person. Okay, so it doesn't get it right every time as this isn't quite what we wanted. So let's give it a bit more direction. And to do this, if we hover back over our initial prompt, we can click the pencil icon and adjust the prompt. So I've adjusted the prompt to say, place it in the empty space to the left. It should not overlap the lamp or the person. Make it smaller to fit the empty space and then do save. This is now re-editing the picture as if our previous prompt was never even spoken. And this is the results, which is in the grand scheme of things, much better. You can go on and say, remove the background from the second image and place it higher and make it bigger, etc. But overall, you get the gist. You can write in plain English, simple little commands, and it will give you the information back. The more specific we are, the better the information is. And this can be used with all sorts of things from PDF documents, to our accounts, to our analytics of our website, and even connect it to our marketing campaigns. It will analyze data and format it the way we want it. Let's move on to the voice conversation. Go ahead and grab your phone. You'll want to open up the ChatGPT app, go into the settings, then beta features, and you'll want to activate voice conversations. Then scroll down and you'll see a new option called speech. You'll have an option of all the different voices. Personally, I choose Sky because it's my favorite, but you can select either one of them. Now on the top right hand corner, you'll see headphones icon. Click on the headphones and it will connect to the server. Now we're just going to talk to it and give it a command. Write a marketing plan on how to get more views on YouTube. All right, getting more views on YouTube is a big deal for anyone who wants to reach a bigger audience. Here's a simple marketing plan tailored just for that. Know your audience. First, figure out who you're making videos for. You can revert back to that conversation whenever you want with the written copy of it. As you can tell just by that little chat, it was extremely conversational and even the voice sounded like it was taking breath to make it more human-like. This can be incredibly powerful and once this develops just a little bit more, the impact it can have on us is vast. Finally, we have real-time browsing. Inside your ChatGPT, select GPT-4 and now do browse with Bing. Originally, this got taken down due to security issues, but they've refined all of that now and you should be safe. You can ask it simple little questions like, is there any traffic on the M25 motorway? And now it's connecting to the most reliable sources of where it can find this information and it will give you an instant response. It will also link to the place it found that information and we click on that and it will show you all of this. Ultimately, these new features have unlimited possibilities. You can use the image analysis tool to scan through documents, summarize jargon terms from legal documents to even analyzing images. The voice conversation tool can create a much more natural conversation when it comes to answering questions or perhaps you're talking your child to sleep and you want to create a bedtime story, making your child the focus of the story. And with the real-time browsing feature, this allows you to get much more accurate information and responses for 
the things that you need to find out. Analyzing website content to finding the latest legislations. The real-time browsing feature is extremely powerful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.